you guys, I'm back. Um, that wasn't fun. I was gone probably about the last six months for anybody who hasn't seen this. Um, I had a lot of trouble with my account and uh, also just things got pretty dark um, and didn't change for about eight months, nine months. I'm kind of surprised I'm still alive at this point, but I got through the worst part, I think, recently. Things have started changing. Um, so that's a whole nother thing, but basically everything failed. I kept seeing more and more doctors, kept getting sicker actually, dropping more and more classes to where I was taking literally just one class. No longer showering, barely eating, lost 60 pounds, going to the ER twice a week, then started getting like grand mal seizures, almost died a few times. And then I'm just like, fuck it at that point, doing tons of drugs to the point where I'm just doing like ketamine throughout the day and stuff. But the whole time, and that's just because I thought I was gonna die, but I never stop researching and trying to figure out what's going on and went against what a lot of doctors said because I realized some of them are kind of fucking stupid and some are not, but um, I just did my own research reading internal medicine textbooks in the library and even when I'm just passed out in my bed and the worst part is probably being about 110 pounds in a bed that literally had maggots in it because there was a bird's nest outside my room and those things got in and I'm just like passed out and they'd get all over my body and be biting me and I didn't even care at that point <laughs> and no family, no friends, no nothing but just kept going and I'd, I'd put my headphones in and just still like four hours a day sometimes just listen to lectures on endocrinology. And after doing, I mean, it's just like, basically I had the choice to um, leave school and go get treatment and go back to my old living situation in that house. I'd definitely rather be dead than go back there. So the only way I was gonna go home was basically in a box, but, uh, so that basically means there's no giving up though. So it's either I'm gonna make it through or it's gonna kill me, but there's no surrender, not a victim at any point, no giving up. So kept doing the endocrinology lectures many hours a day and noticed some weird shit. And I'm like, hey, this what I'm dealing with right now kind of sounds like Addison's disease, but not the conventional type, like secondary Addison's that's systemic and has other things going on. So I got a doctor to uh, test me for it and he wouldn't even review the test when it came back. And he gave me the hydrocortisone and um, some other stuff and he didn't even prescribe it correctly. He gave me 2.5 milligrams, so I tried it and I thought, oh, because I don't have Addison's, it didn't do anything, put it away. And things kept getting worse. And then I came back to it after reading some textbooks and I was at a pretty bad point where I'm just like incapacitated again in my bed and I was thinking, hey, this really actually kind of sounds like an Addison's crisis, the symptoms. And even started having seizures a few weeks ago before, and that was scary as shit. And um, since there was no clear explanation, even in the ER, they thought I was faking it. And at one point they left me in a wheelchair in a lobby and people are just filming it for 40 minutes and there's like foam coming out of my mouth and all that shit. Like that's, that kind of stuff is normal for me now. It didn't phase me that much after, which is probably kind of sick. But um, So that stuff started going down again. And then I just took massive doses after the day, like the day before I read uh, on the Pfizer website, I looked, I went through all the FDA dosing. And you can take over like 150 milligrams sometimes in emergencies, like almost 200 milligrams at a time. He had me on 2.5, so I just took a huge dose in conjunction with a few augmentations and it's just like like 15 minutes later I'm back it's like oh fuck so it appears I have secondary Addison's disease and he won't even I can't even get doctors to treat me they're so slow so I'm still having to do a lot of that myself and um, it gets really confusing but actually um, probably should have killed me but I didn't stop and I found something so I'm still not well at all but it a little thing and I'm coming out slowly now you could say like coming coming out of the underworld so to speak and I guess it turns out I have complex PTSD too which kind of explains a lot <laughs> but um if 
you a quick update so i just got done with school um a couple days ago just staying in school doing summer school so i got reassigned a new place this is like a holding place for a couple days and then in like five days i'm just back in school and already signed up I'll give you a quick tour but um let's just do I don't know how to use this phone, but I'm just in this holding thing. It's got kind of a Soviet look to it, but that's okay. Um, this is just some books and shit I threw in here because I'm getting ready in the meantime for the class. I'm doing the cell and molecular bio and neuroscience class in a couple days. The neuro one actually has started. It's online, and then the um, this one at the school um, and doing a lab with that and then this is just some shit here and these are the ones where I found all that and I actually just bought these but I was using the ones in the school library that's where I found that shit and this is just what I've been up to all year pretty much except it's not been so happy but at least it's kind of coming back and um So, um, what else? So there's that, so I, at least I found something, so that's pretty cool. And I learned a lot of that from the dude Mark Gordon, the endocrinologist. So some of this might pertain to you guys, it's on YouTube. He's got good stuff, and then, I don't know, so I've gained like 10 pounds back in the last probably month or so. Originally, again, I lost 60 since when I first got here. So it's coming back now. Um, yeah, but that was pretty fucking dark. I'm glad that's over. Even just, like, this is before I even got here. I stopped wearing, um... I'm in a warm place, so I wear t-shirts and stuff now. But not at first. Like, you can even... People get freaked out just looking at me. I have so many lacerations from the old days. You can't really see them, but there's probably a dozen of them. But, um trying to come back to life now and I think that wonderful thing is over so actually it's not over but coming back a little bit to life so I think so that is good I'll start making videos again I hope you guys have been well um I don't know <laughs> alright see you guys